Welcome to the Average Rook. We are still playing Resident Evil 3. We are now controlling Carlos because uh, Jill probably lost a little bit too much blood on the uh, on the explosion of the train ride when Nemesis caught up with them and Nikolai was being a bit of a dick. So now we are controlling Carlos and we have to examine what remains in the Raccoon City Police Department. And there appears to be quite a few grave, uh, grave sites here. I wonder if they were burying them just so that they don't come alive, but that... I'm not sure how that would actually work. But now we have to follow, uh, well, Terrell, I believe, that's who this guy is. We both have to go. Oh, there's an open grave here. What do we do with it? Also, what have we got in terms of items? We've got not very much of the, uh, the inventory space. We've got a CQBR assault rifle. Short length aff affords great mobility even in urban settings. I wonder if that's just like his version of the uh, the assault rifle that we have. And there's a G18 handgun that's customized for UBCS. G18, that's not like the G19. Assault rifle, ammo, handgun, ammunition, and combat knife. So we don't exactly have uh, the unlimited stuff with us, though if I come across a chest, maybe I can give it to Carlos. But because of that, we have to be a little bit more uh, conservative of our, our ammo, but just in case. Okay, that is fair enough. I will move back to the assault rifle and we shall continue on, assuming that they're not come, gonna come alive in their little bags. Ooh, cutscene. It was boarded up here. Stop! T. Oh, I see. Inf oh God. Come on, man. Not you too. Wait. Sorry. You. Sorry. Oh no no no. <laughs> wait. Dog. Wait wait what what what? Wait. Okay, this kind of retcons what happened in Rec in Resident Evil 2. Shit, it's locked. It makes me think that this actually came before Resident you Evil 2. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. Why are you not dying? Oh god damn. Come on. We got him. An unfortunate end. Uh, is there any other way that we can go? ID card. Oh, we can pick up an ID card from there. Okay. Brad Vickers. These stars. That could be useful. Hmm. But that retcons what happened in uh, Resident Evil 2, unless, of course, this is meant to be a prequel, because um, we know that guy... Uh, was it Marvin... Was it Marvin, was it is? I think it was. I don't know, I could be mistaking it completely. But, uh, he nearly became, he became infected later on. Where'd that cop go? Which... Don't know, don't care. We got gonna pause that for a second, because if that... Because we know that he became infected, and that might have been the cause, and if that's the case, then... Then, uh, Leon comes here a lot later than before. Job to do. All right, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, hello. Damn, then Bard's in the Star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Okay. All right, we've got a hit pouch there. Upgrades us. And then upgrades us again. I thought this was a rescue. Well, they say a lot of Carlos, things. Carlos, take a look at this. Oh, what now? I've located the Star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. Uh-huh. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Okie dokie. Hey! Be careful. Oh, we're yeah. gonna try. You too, man. Wait. But then, if that's the case, then, uh, Nemesis is before the, uh, the tyrant. Maybe that was, like, a, uh, a prototype before they came up with the more aesthetically pleasing one? This is all a little bit too difficult to, 
to figure out really. I'm gonna sort, uh, oh wait, uh, main key, okay. So we got a Samurai Edge, Infinity, we've got the Infinite Q CQB Assault Rifle. That's exactly what I want to take with me, and I'm going to store this, and then this, and I don't need the handgun ammunition, and I don't need this. As long as I have this, uh, no, as long as I have this, I am very, very happy. Uh, take with me the two assault coins and the recovery coins. That should be good enough for us. The field combat manual and that appears to be it. We don't have anything in terms of healing. It's a little bit disappointing, but unfortunately that is the case. So, going to save here and then we're going to attempt to explore this place. I kind of want to look around a little bit just to see what I can find here. But first let me just check the map to see if I actually can. Yes, we can, technically, according to this. A red mark indicates there is more to explore. So that will lead us, and then we need to go up and then into the, uh, the star's office with our little key card that we got from... I'm guessing... Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it! We're here for Bark! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get there eventually. I just want to get all of this... Okay, that was exactly it. Um, is there any more that we can deal with at the top here? Area looks clear. I want to see here. There is... Okay, so that is where we need to go. There appears to be an item of some description, maybe, within this area. I think this might be the item in question. Handgun ammunition. And yes, that is very it. So I'm going to put that away, and then we're going to go through the shutters. Okay, let's see what we've got to explore here. No, okay, that was already... Alright, let's see. Will that shut behind us, I wonder? No idea. Uh, there's some handgun bullets there. We can't climb it through the window. There's a lockbox over here. What's this note? ID security protocols. September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. So I'm guessing they're same across the board? Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. Raccoon City Police Department, Facility Management Department. So, will the card work on this, I wonder? Yes, it will. And inside we get some more assault rifle ammunition that we don't need because we're going to be using the infinite ammo version as often as we can. Now, this probably won't let us uh, do anything with the gun until we get further along. <sighs> Survivors. Okay, this definitely is what the hell like was that going thing? out to be a prequel. Okay, do we get? Hold on one second. I need to uh, shortcut this to the top. There we go. Okay, we'll come to you in just a moment. Wait. It... Hello. Oh, it's not letting us shoot him. Will he come back alive or Couldn't will he wait? Oh. I think we're gonna get we're gonna come across those uh those special enemies. The ones that I was freaked out about when I tried to uh kill them before. Oh yeah, Marvin Brenner. That's it. Oh, he's gonna come around sometime. At least we'll be somewhat ready for him. Unless he comes around in the normal way, in which case we won't be ready for him. Uh, here we go. All right, let's go. Okay. Hopefully the assault coins are doing the job. Gonna be something. Around the corner, there it bloody well is. Oh, it's gonna show its ugly face here soon. Oh, we're gonna break through the window. Well, she's dead now. Sorry. Do I have to board these things up again? Big warm RPD welcome. Yeah, always so wholesome. Not. Oh, okay. Can I shoot this? Nope. I can't impact it whatsoever. It's got some weird coloring over there. I wonder if that's to do with the graphics or if it's just an effect of the game. Alright, can I uh, interact with any of these? No. Can I get anything in here? Apparently, yes. 
There's uh Looks like a nerve bomb of some sort. Is this gonna burst open? Wait, what the Interesting. Okay, let's pick this up. Flash grenade. I'm guessing that's um like a safety thing, much like the survival knife. I remember when we were here before, we had to like propel ourselves through that window. Well when I say propel, I mean get a box. Go on to it, and then uh, go up. Or maybe there was a letter, I don't know. In we go, there's bound to be some death waiting for us. Some assault rifle ammo that we don't really need. We're running out of slots very quickly. Locker room, cab. Okay. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. Okay, that might not be the same voice actor the as the one Watch for, six. uh... For Chris Redfield. It sounds similar, but I don't think it is. Oh, there's gotta be something here. I'm going to rush across. Nothing? Okay. Is there any more? There's no items. So here we go. And boink. Oh, hi. Okay, he's dead. Still wandering around, he doesn't notice me, yet. He's dead. Anything around the corner, there's gonna be something dropping through. Oh, hello. Oh, there's two. Oh, God. Hit him with the goddamn knife, why isn't it effing working? All the times that I've done this, the survival knife has not worked one bloody bit. Like, what the hell? Is it even supposed to work, or what the... Like, do I have to equip it for it to work? It's... I don't want that to be the bloody case. Alright, so I'm on yellow-green right now, but... Through, uh, just a little bit of moving around... Hopefully, this actually regenerates my health. Alright, let's take a look at the map. So, over here is a dead end. We could try exploring that. There might be some death on this side. Who knows? Certainly not any items, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what else is in this area. Not sure that we'll be able to access the safety deposit room. Technically, we can with the, uh, with the showing of the door there. Then we've also got the west office. And whatever might be at the very end there. I'm just gonna just give this guy a bit more of a shot. Just to make sure that he's dead. Anything at the end there? Hello? We've got some more assault rifle ammunition that we don't really need. What if I should be going back to the box? Or if I just should not bother and continue moving around? I wanna make sure that all these bodies are dead. Just... A test. Y'all seem to be dead. Make a move towards the safety deposit room. We need a key for this, and we don't have access to a lockpick that's gonna get us through it. Shit. Locked. Well, we'll come across the key soon. Okay, now we're at full health. Checking the worst office. I think I saw a body there that I need to shoot. I didn't get the headshot that I wanted, though. I'm not necessarily sure that you will be able to do headshots with the assault rifle. But there's gotta be some more death awaiting us inside here. That can't just be the one. But we can activate this. This will probably give us some more, uh, assault rifle ammunition. No, it'll give us a part. An assault rifle scope. I don't think we can use it on the, uh, the infinite, can we? Nope, unfortunately we can't. Eventually I'm gonna have to go back and put all this stuff away inside the safe. I feel like I hear something. Although it might just be moving, that might just be me moving around. Alright, let's check our map. Uh, there's no doors here. So we can move around safely. 
But I do want to eventually go through there, then go back, and then into this. I don't want to go upstairs until I've made sure that my stock is well handled. Alright, anything around the side here? No, there's some handgun ammunition. We're nearly full up already. I will have to make a trip. I can't do that. I don't have the code for it. I don't remember the code for the last one, so unfortunately, I'm screwed for that. But I feel like there was a code, like, using the names or something. Though I think that was for one of the lock- No, wait, it was for opening that. That's what it was. Okay, so going around to the side. There's a door leading- We can't even go through that door. But we can get... Red Herb. And handgun ammunition. And now... We can't open that because that's not for us. Though that does mean we are completely full up. September 20 arrest report. Uh, Rodney Gray, occupation unemployed, former electrician. Charges unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Spoke feverishly when questioning. One point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand the corpse's attack from the shadows? So no one realized that uh, these were actually infected. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Ha ha. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Uh, suspect's unstable psychiatric condition. Suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. Explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Interrogating Officer West Rucker. Okay, that is unfortunately it for our uh, inventory. We've only got one slot and I really do need to put some stuff away. According to this, we've still got that area to go, but before I go over there, I want to make a quick stop over to the, uh, well, I need to go over to the chest in the main lobby, assuming I can get there without any trouble. I'm going to go over there, put some stuff away, and then come back to here to go through this hallway here. I will do that right now. Four minutes later. Alright, let's start moving through this hallway. We might come across the, uh, the evil... Little bugger in here, or it might be in the normal area that will freak me out. According to this, we've got the dark room over here that I think was a uh, a safe room for us in Resident Evil 2. I'm also um slightly kind of fucked up shooting cops. It is a little bit screwed up shooting the cops. Now, the last time that we were here in Resident Evil 2, I think that was broken, and that was a bit we had to board up so that, uh, mon uh, the infected didn't come through. Might be some around the corner. Or through the window. Or up above me. Or around the corner. Through the window. Door, maybe. No, this is a normal one. Okay. All right, pick up the red herb. And it's up to get some more assault rifle ammo. Want to uh, turn this on a little bit? I'll turn that off soon if I need to use it. Let's see. Internal memo nine fifteen seven. So I gotta go back and uh, use that safe. Uh, heat resistant three numbers combination safe. Moved from Star's office to West office. Combo is left nine, right fifteen, left seven. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. I definitely want to go back and deal with those as soon as I get the chance. Turn this light off again. Let's see what's inside. We've got. If cameras kill those things, I'd be set. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately, no. Anything else to explore here? No, that's pretty much it for us. I'll put away the stuff that I have here. Uh, I don't need that just yet, and I definitely don't need that. I'm going to press this. 
And then, um... Yeah, I might as well, I'll save it here. So we've got a lot we need to do. So I'm going to cut over to the west office and try to use that save. Assuming I don't get ambushed along the way. Alright, let's use that save. Left 9, right 15, left 7. Left 9... Right 15, I might have bugged us up. Left 7... There we go! And inside we get another hip pouch. Increases our infantry very nicely. Okay, now we have to cut back and uh, try to go up the steps. Alright, time to go up the staircase. If we go near here, will there be any monsters? No. But what happens if we go up here? There might be some waiting for us up that staircase. Survey says something over there. Can't shoot that down. That doesn't mean it won't be here. Not seeing anything yet. Oh. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. You got it. Copy that. Alright, let's see our thing there. Yeah, so we don't have to go up any further. Although this is taking up to the top, so maybe we do want to go there. I'm just thinking that if we go to the star's office, then that'll be it for us. Part of me doesn't want to go there yet. And I know that if we go through here, we will come across the special, the special creatures. Instead, I'll go up here. Gonna be anything on the way? There's a monster I need to shoot. Thank you for, uh, re-dying. I guess. Anything else up at the top? There was a long hallway at the end there that seems to lead to a dead end. Will there be any monsters on the- That's not sussed at all. Hold on. This camera. For the love of God. Seriously, nothing? Come on, you gotta show me something. You're gonna, gonna get you in the head. Okay, you are not doing anything. But now we got ourselves a key. Want to see if examining this key will do anything. Safety deposit key. A key which unlocks the door to the safety deposit room. Doesn't seem to have anything else on it. We can definitely do that, and I'll probably do that before I go to the, uh, the star's office. Now, is there anything else on the end here that I need to be worried about? Assault, ri uh, assault rifle ammo, and then, okay. Uh, cap, I believe it was. No, it wasn't. Well, I don't remember what the other one was. Great, I may have to go back over to the, uh, to the place that I saw the code. Or I could just continuously sort through this until I get something that will work. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go and find the code. It actually might be the code for something else. But I do need to use that key, and I will do that as soon as I can. Oh god, there it is! Oh, I forgot about- oh shit! Okay, gotta use that now. Oh my god, I completely forgot. I think he's still alive. 99. I knew that was gonna come across at some point. I just didn't know it was gonna be that early. Okay, let's use our key for the safety deposit room. Oh, no. Okay, now we can move through. Oh, great, there's another zombie here. Any other my any others I need to be worried about? At all? Only come in pairs. Alright, but can we activate this at all? It's two missing parts again, and... Oh, God damn it. Uh, first, let's just look over here to see if there's any enemies. Okay, nothing. Um, and there's nothing over here, so we can't use any keys. Or key cards, but we've got green herbs. We can chuck this key. Now, what about over here? So, inside these cases... Uh, there's nothing here, and there's nothing here. So what were the missing ones? Uh, one, <clears throat> two, and three. So we can't access any of the ones over there on two. We probably won't be able to find the key. 
But over here we've got the battery that we need, and what appears to be assault rifle things, and a hand grenade. So that's nine, that's six, and that's four. I mean, I suppose I could activate all of them. One, zero, nine. And then, no, 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 no. One, no, zero, six. And then, one, zero, four. All right, try to claim those things as quickly as I can. Get out of that. Open this up. Open it up. Come on. All right, claim the battery. That's for the explosives up top. Then the assault rifle ammunition and the hand grenade. Come the papa. I think that is it for everything here. Let's go to the dark room, put everything away. Um, oh, hello. DCM. Okay. So I suppose that code was for something else. All right, but I'm gonna put my stuff away. Anyone gonna ambush me? You done now? Okay. I'm gonna put some stuff away, and then we're gonna move back and maybe use that uh, that thing. Okay, moving towards the locker. D, C, M. You open the locker, and then inside we get some more assault rifle ammunition. Not really entirely useful for us, but I got it anyway, so that's it. Now, go back down to the middle area, and attempt to progress through. Might come across another one of those stupid, horrid things. We really don't want it, I really don't want for that to be the case, but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen nonetheless. Although there's nothing at the end there that we can collect, so we can move through here. Too many there's gonna be some zombies over here. Anything around the corner? Must be something moving in. Anything around the side? Wouldn't be surprised. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Oh. Copy that. Be absolutely bloody careful when you do so. Okay. Can we open up any of the lockers? Not that one. That's a wall that we... Okay, obviously we need to destroy that. What we do so, I think we need to enter cap here. There we go. Inside we get a flash grenade. That is... I mean, I suppose it could be useful for us if we were able to use it when something was attacking us and not have to bring it out by ourselves. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case. Now, is there anything in here? I kind of want to throw these. Quip. Okay. Nothing was affected by that. Doesn't mean there isn't going to be anything here. Though it doesn't seem that there's anything here. So, the only thing that we can do is uh, use a battery on that bomb, according to the notes. Move towards the battery. The electronic gadget. Wait, we don't get to pick it up with us? Oh, wait, we have to use the battery on it. So, move to the inventory. Combine with the detonator. Okay. And then we should put it onto this. Three minutes. Stop running. Oh wait, that's three seconds. I feel like that explosion from the time and the effect, it was a little bit delayed. Ah! That's what causes the thing, the problem to happen. Wow, I didn't know that was going to happen. It looks like he had a bit of a bracelet on him. So... We're the ones that- Ah, oh, hey. I think there was a third one. Yeah, there it is. Hardy, hardy, ha. Okay, do we have a chance to, uh... Calm down, Diddly? One at a time, take a number. Oh my god. So I'm gonna break through the door. 
Still not getting those headshots, but I don't think that's gonna happen with the assault rifle. Anything else I can claim while I'm here? I mean, I could use a herb. What I can't exactly use is the assault rifle ammunition, but I think that might just have to do for us. We can open these. Gives us first aid spray. And uh, more assault rifle ammunition. At least the first aid spray I can use. We're very close to the end here. I'm assuming that once we get to the star's office, we're either going to do the boss battle, or um, we're just going to move to a new area. Either of those things. But I think... I knew it! Ah. Okay, now you did. I knew it, because that was the case before. That was the reason I went on the power trip in the first place. Got getting out the freaking minigun. That is, uh, we've still got some collectibles. There may be some more death right in the distance. It would not surprise me at all. So there's a star's office. Not going there yet, there's gotta be something at the very end. Something that I may have to destroy. Let's see. Okay, nothing. Got some assault rifle ammunition. There's a door there that I can't open, but that is it for us. Now we can open that door and see what's inside the star's office. So looking for Nathaniel Bot. I thought I saw a movement over there. Incoming call. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Probably Don't very worry, long. We're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Well, at least it ended before he got I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mikhail's call. Yeah. And I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. But Mikhail's, go Mikhail's going to be dead. In fact, he pretty much is dead. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Yes, well, unfortunately, I think that might be it for us. Let's consider Congo uh, where they find Dr. Bard. Uh, we can see the DVD, dark room, second floor hallway. It's alone found a safe room, so we might have to, although, is there a safe spot here that I work Wait, please. There's not going to be a safe. There's not going to be a saving point here, is there? I'm just going to have to bin this stuff. Uh, combine with this. I'll store it. Store that. Keep that with me. There's, there better be something else that we can uh, open up. Maybe we can get access to a magnum. There's a flash grenade. Uh, can't access that. Can't access any of this. Is there anything else here? We can open up this. Not that quickly. I want to try and end this episode so I can actually get ahead. Because I'm running out of time, and I am running out of willpower. Ah, come on. Can we access this door right here? Inside we get, uh, there's a notice here. Is that Jill this. in the front row? Seems to be. And then this. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. Uh, the Star's Bravo team was dispatched. Uh, mysterious and grisly murders and went radio silent. It was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at a nearby mansion. Incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. Five members of STARS. Cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. T-Virus. All evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Interesting. 
to say the least. There's still an item that we can somehow claim. I don't know where that is. What else can we possibly- oh, first aid spray. And then that is it for us. We're not seeing any way of saving, and that's unfortunate for us. Because I do want to save, or at least find... Maybe if we just go through here, there's gonna be some issues. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Okay, there General? we go. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. Okie dokie. So we have 4.43 a.m. Star's office. Why would they have that there? All right, no idea. The Carlos Express. Several minutes earlier, subway tunnels. So will she say anything about Mikhail, uh, not Mikhail, uh, Nikolai? Okay, well the thing is derailed, so now we gotta work through the subway tunnels. And there's no guarantee that, uh, that Nemesis is dead. But that does constitute, um... Am I the only one who made it? Hopefully not. But that does constitute a save point for us, no. so I think we'll probably stop the episode here. Okay, through controlling Carlos, we went through the Raccoon City Police Department and find- well, sort of found out where Nathaniel Bard is. He's in a hospital, we don't know which hospital that is. But there's probably only one hospital, so we will find him eventually. So now, in the next episode, well not now, but in the next episode, we're going to retake control of Jill and try to get through the uh, the subway tunnels so that we can get up to the moment where we communicate with, uh, uh, with Carlos. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check the corresponding playlist assuming something turns up or one of the recommended that pops up below it. I am the Average Rook and I shall see you soon where there is more average content Coming your way!